Hi. If you um, follow my blog or uh, my postings at Facebook, you already know that I'm working on a new character simulation tool for uh, parametric animations. And um, I just want to give you a small um, overview of what I have right now regarding um, usage of any already rigged characters. So I have uh, one downloaded here from the Axis uh, people that are already rigged and one of the um, generated Autodesk characters um, which are available for free if you don't need the high-res version. So this is just a low or medium um, resolution mesh. Um, but it's free for now and um, you can customize them any way you like. So uh, both are rigged already. So um, I just uh, get my um, rigging plugin and uh, there I already included some presets regarding um, the control elements for different kinds of rigs. So you can see you can use standard motion capture rigs, my old uh, people in motion rigs and uh, different resolution of the Autodesk rigs and the Access rigs. For now, this list might expand over time. Depends on uh, the various sources for uh, rigged char characters I find useful. So for now, I'm uh, starting with the uh, girl character here, so the Access design. Uh, only thing you have to do is uh, to pick the hips joint of that character and link it to the hips link field and then just click to load all the other joints. You can see that fills up all the links here in the list. You could do that manually but of course this one is more convenient. Uh, you can still adjust um, this kind of rig which is a position controlled rig so it's um, it works no matter how um, the joints are actually oriented in the rig so it doesn't matter. You just have to constrain it so this basically saves the uh, orientations and matrices of all the uh, joints and then add my IK tag and then you're already ready to go whatever you like to do. In this case I'm using the generic walk mode which uh, gives us access to a motion designer which is included here so you can design your own uh, motions. As you can see this uh, character is now already in idle position. I'm just uh, adding a little bit, a couple of more frames so we can have a little bit more time to look at the animation. So that's basically just an idle animation. Activating the walk in place and um, yeah, by just increasing the uh, stride, you can bring this character to life. And additional elements, I don't want to show them right now, but there are more elements to control where the character should walk, uh, including stair walks um, and escalators and so on. And now basically you can um, adjust the walk if you like to. Uh, I have some presets here for female, more bouncy and sexy hip-like movements, or uh, more a rigid uh, male walk. Of course, everything can be controlled here by sliders. So for instance, the hip movement or bouncing, whatever you like to control. There are also a lot of offsets available here as well. So for instance, um, the hip position, you can bring her up again. So to have this bounce effect in addition to a more up um, position of the character in total. So you can control control everything you like. You can have individual arm poses, for instance, if she should carry a bag or something like that, or read something on the on the mobile device, or having a phone call or something like that. So it's everything is um, easily controllable um, by sliders. 
there are also individual sliders for all the uh, finger joints so if I increase the strength you can see that you can control whatever you like the character do to do with the fingers so that's basically if you want to have this uh, amount of uh, control you actually have it and after that is done of course walking in place is no longer necessary so she starts to walk away so just adding the same principle to the other rig I have here so just roughly placing it here on this Autodesk rig same principle setup mode in this case is a simple version looking for the hip loading the hip constraining switching to the walk mode adding the IK tag and there you go just easy like that basically just have to do this uh, once and then uh, you have all the controls you need for instance uh, make this character sit down or run whatever yeah so that's basically is what I have right now beside all the other modifiers to adjust the um, path of the character and the actions and uh, yeah. next thing I will um, include are all the IK constraints so you can actually um, mix in your own IK um, for instance if you like to have more control about where the character should look at or what the hands and feet are doing um, during the animation. So thanks for watching.